What's up, guys? Uh, this is your boy again, Adam Slink, and you know, day. Uh, welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. Uh, today is Sunday, guys, and I uh, hope you guys went to church and uh, you pray for your loved ones, or you are still currently staying in church. For those of you who want to do double service or you want special things from God and uh, you still feel like staying in church longer will make god grant you that special thing so i wish you all the best guys so i hope you pray for your loved ones as well firstly we are currently wishing bona boy and thames good luck at the grammy awards they were nominated in the following categories uh bona boy global music album love damini and the best global music performance that is last last by thames of course, were nominated for Best Melodic Rap and Best Rap Song, Wait For You, alongside Drake and Future. Well, terms is being attached to other artists for a Grammy Award. But Border Boy being the Odogu, the Gorilla, the Africa Giant, of course, the most nominated Nigerian artist. Well, he, of course, you know he has his own category. He's been nominated for his own project. Well, big up to Bonner Boy, and uh, I wish him all the best. You know, the Grammys is coming today. Today. Today is this night stroke Monday morning. So, the Grammy will be hosted, and uh, currently, they are hosting pre-Grammy party. Rock Nation hosted that yesterday and uh, we saw Thames finally meeting Beyonce and Jay-Z. One-on-one -on -one they spoke. I think that's one of the most trendy video currently in Nigeria. You know, Thames meeting uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Do you guys remember during the time of uh, Whiskey, David O and Bonaboy? No, Whiskey and David O. Remember if David Doe is seen with this artist. Maybe David Doe hang out with Chris Brown. Everybody, all the internet space in Nigeria will just blow. Hey, David Doe don't hang out with Chris Brown. David Doe don't hang out with Chris Brown. Then we saw Whiskey hanging out with this, the same Chris Brown. Ah, David Doe make me music with Chris Brown. No, the competition was all about our celebrities meeting Hollywood celebrities because it was formal like a big deal. Big deal as at then, but right now, eh, forget to oh, all those ones that are no longer big deal to us again. We are talking about music, getting platinum, and being nominated for Grammy Award. That's what we are talking about now. We are not talking about our celebrity meeting or that celebrity because that's one a normal thing. They should be happy that they are meeting us, they should be happy they are meeting our own Afrobeat kings and queens. Not we again. There's no to to hell with that time. That time was buzz, you know. But to hell with that time. We talk about uh, with kid David O beating or Don Jazzy or uh, the band having a song with Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Doggy. No, to hell with that. They the other time Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, the legendary, took to his social media to beg terms. For a collaboration. Tim's, when we gonna make a record? You know I'm a fan. I had to get that out the way. Now let's get to the shit. Let's make a fucking hit record, girl. You be having my whole family dancing to your shit. I need one with you. That is and you can host that. Axing Tim's <laughs> for a Happy New Year for the DOWG. During those times, that the band, if the band see like this kind of, uh, if the band see that kind of video now, Snoop Dogg begging Tim's. For a collaboration, the bar will be like, and I paid hundreds of thousands of US dollars to feature Thames, no, to feature Snoop Dogg in my song. And if P Square also uh, see this, then P Square will be like, ah, I paid Rick Ross for a feature. I paid Rick Ross for a feature. But right, right now, now them they beg our artists to feature. Now them now they beg our artists. Nobody we now they beg them. Man. 
I'm so happy that I'm um, like witnessing all this because then when we all started with this blog, we used to hype any artists that hang out with uh, all those Hollywood entertainers. But right now, I forget to. Oh, now them supposed to go hang out with us. Now them. Now them supposed to go hang out with us. So big up to all of them. Then there are these facts that you guys do not know. You know, people are saying a Bono Boy is the first Nigeria artist to ever win a Grammy. Bono Boy was not the first. So here is uh, a tweet by Unruly Outsider. He said, Nigerians at the Grammy. The first Nigeria nominated for Grammy. That is King Sonny Ade, 1984. First Nigeria to win a Grammy. Sikiru Ade Boju, 2009. First Nigeria to individually win a Grammy. That is Bonner Boy, 20. 21. Most nominated Nigeria artists in the Grammy, that is Bono Boy and Femi Kuti, six each. So get that into your score. Don't say Bono Boy is the first. Bono Boy was never the first. And the Whiskey also have a Grammy Award, but not its own Grammy Award. Bono Boy had just one Grammy Award, but I bet you tonight. Bonner Boy must take home another Grammy Award. That is for sure. Because he, he has two categories, separate category. So Bonner Boy must bring home an award because that last last uh, it speaks deeply into our soul. So I'm rooting for Bonner Boy to bring home an award. There's nothing, no two way about it. I want Bonner Boy to bring home an award. If Whiskey or David Doe was dead, then I said, oh, Bonner Boy won it before, so let Whiskey or David Doe. But yeah, they were not nominated. They were not recognized. Their project were not uh, Grammy Award worthy. So I'm rooting for our home. Bonner Boy and Thames to bring home an award. Well, guys, uh, let's move past that. There is this lady from South Africa. This lady, I will, I will count her among some of the luckiest women on earth. This woman, a lady, decided to go naked, to strip, to go to a shopping mall naked. This woman stripped naked. To go to a shopping mall. I mean, why all lookers were just looking at her. Nobody even said anything. Then I keep thinking, if this girl was in Nigeria and decided to strip naked to a shopping mall, can you imagine what will happen to this girl? Sorry, I cannot show the entire video and the picture. So make sure you go, you head to my uh, telegram. And my telegram name is Adam's Link Media. I'm going to leave the link below in the description. So make sure you check it out, guys. I have a lot of dupe stuff on, on my telegram, guys. I don't know why you guys are not supporting it. Go there and subscribe to that telegram channel. Do it now. Just imagine what will happen to that girl being in Nigeria. Call the go the VC shopping mall, nowhere anything. Man, if they know it. If police see you arrested, you should be lucky. So, guys, I'll play you a video. <laughs> this one is coming from Speedality. He just decided to wake up and and uh, just talk on some celebrity nyash. Destiny nyash, na fake nyash, na everybody know. It's too round. It's too perfect. It's too proper. Fake nyash. Tiwa nyash looks real. Teams, her nyash also looks real. You know? It's too perfect. Life is not perfect. It's too perfect. 
even more. One 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 ball is bigger than the other ball. You feel me? One breast is usually bigger than the other breast. The left one is usually bigger than the right one. Yes. It's too perfect. It's fake. Yeah. Let's just wake up in the morning, decide to speak on the uh, celebrity niche. But let's let's be honest. Destiny tickles severally. You know, see, I believe Destiny Tico uh, backyard is it's absolutely real. We should also, as men, recognize that some girls they get water backyard, water niche, while some see they get strong one. Destiny Tico backyard strong. You can see the muzzle. You can see it. It's strong. So this person is strong. You call the make and deceive you say no be real. Destiny Tico backyard now real. Real. I've not touched it though. I'm looking forward on touching it. If possible, God will allow me to touch it. I will be so so grateful. But <laughs> judging from afar. I can honestly tell that backyard is real. No, it's real. It's real, guys. There, there's this viral video that's going on uh, uh, on the net currently. It shows a last man in Lagos versus a taxi driver. And a very popular TikTok star who lives in Nigeria was, was in their mix while they were dragging and fighting on the story. I don't know what happened, but... They weren't really giving us any details. They were just struggling and fighting. Times like this, you can go inside now. I'll send you tea. Yeah. If you can go inside, no problem. No, let me try. Mine's a six zero. Six zero. Oh. Yeah. Why? I don't want to feel like your day is really no, messed no, no, up. No, not because of that. I'm only, I only felt bad because I delayed you. No, it's okay. I hope you'll be, be fine. Obviously, I'll be fine. Hey, you will be now. That's why I said you'll be fine. No. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. The lady actually made the uh, the driver smile a little bit. Sent him 10k. Maybe he was supposed to. She was supposed to pay like 10k or maybe 5k, and decide and she decided to just double it. That's equally really good. You know, 